What? Why is there a GoPro in my car? What's going on? This is so weird. Who put a GoPro in my coffee? All right, so I guess the mystery of who put a GoPro in my coffee is not gonna get solved. Um, so let's get started with the video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna break down how much you can expect to spend uh, if you plan to live in Colombia. I live in Medellin right now, so all these food prices are gonna be based on Medellin prices. You'll find that, you know, Bogota, Cali, some of these other cities, food prices vary a little bit. Generally, you'll find that it's gonna be about the same cost in all these cities in Colombia. You know, Bogota might be a little bit more expensive than Medellin. Cali might be a little bit cheaper than Medellin, uh, but in general, it's gonna be you know about the same. So I'm gonna give you a tour in some of the more popular grocery stores in Colombia and kind of break down the price of the more common items like fruits, vegetables, uh, meats, things like that. Uh, so we'll be going to Exito, which is the biggest grocery store in Colombia, as well as Dayono. And Dayono is kind of like a discount grocery store. Uh, you can compare it to like Aldi in the US. And actually, I believe that you know the person that started Aldi, originally it's a German brand, uh, the person that started that company actually started uh, Dayono and Husti Bueno in Colombia. So it was started by the same person, so kind of the same concept. Uh, kind of no frills shopping, just your basic stuff. Probably for about 30 to 40% less than what you're gonna pay at, you know, Caruja and Exito. And so I'll be breaking down the price of your main grocery items, and I'll compare that to the US. Uh, US is very broad, you know, from city to city. Uh, it's gonna range a lot, but I'll just kind of take the average of your US prices and compare that to uh, managing Colombia prices. Quick spoiler, and you know what you're gonna find uh, for food prices in Colombia. Uh, so fresh fruits, vegetables, meats are gonna be much, much cheaper. Uh, things that are imported, like you know, imported wines, cheeses, anything that's imported is gonna be much, much more expensive. Find that you know, like iPhones are 20 to 30% more than what you can buy in the US. Uh, this is due to the import tax that is levied on imported items which I believe is around 20%. So, you know, if you're a person that likes to eat healthy, so things like, you know, fresh fruits, vegetables, uh, meats, uh, things like that, you know, non-processed food, non-imported food, you're gonna save quite a bit of money here. But if you're a person that, you know, likes to eat, you know, packaged processed foods, imported wine, cheese, uh, things like that, you're actually gonna find that you're gonna be spending quite a bit more than you will be in the US. And another quick thing I wanna mention real quick before I, you know, pr break down the prices, uh, when I compare prices like fresh fruits, vegetables, meats in Colombia to the U.S., uh, everything is organic here. Like all the fruits, vegetables are mostly organic. The meats are grass-fed. Uh, so you know, in the U.S., most of the meat is grain finished. Like the cows, they're you know brought up on grain their last you know three to six months uh, just to fatten them up and kind of speed up the process. And you know, this is not the most healthiest you know version of beef. Uh, you know, if you're eating grass-fed steak in the U.S. Uh, usually you're spending about twice as much as you are for, for grain finished beef. Um, so again, when I do this price comparison, take into account here that everything is organic, you know, fruits, vegetables, and then also the fact that the meat is all uh, grass fed. So actually to be fair with, you know, the price breakdown, uh, what I'll do is I'll break down the price here. And then when I compare it to the prices in the US, I'll give the price of, you know, traditional uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, meats, thing like that and then also compare it to organic fruits, vegetables, meats in the U.S. as well. Because that's gonna be a huge difference what you find in the U.S., you know, fruits, vegetables, meats that are organic uh, are oftentimes two to three times the price. So that'll be a much more fair comparison from Colombian produce to uh, produce in the U.S. So first off, we'll be going to Exito, which is the largest grocer in Colombia. And then after that, we'll be going to Dayono and I'll break down the prices of some of your main produce. So vamanos. So starting off in the produce section, we'll start off with bananas. And these are very cheap at 37 cents a pound. And what you'll find at Colombian grocery stores is they have a massive variety of fresh fruits, vegetables, and uh, all kinds of tropical fruits. And then we have apples coming in at $1.27 per pound. Colombian avocado comes in at just over a dollar. And Colombian avocados are a little bit different. They are huge. They're probably about five times the size of a regular avocado. Here we have broccoli coming in at 85 cents a pound. Tomatoes coming in at 50 cents per pound. And if you're a white girl, you're gonna love it here because avocados are super cheap and they come in at 72 cents per pound. And then you have a very traditional Colombian uh, food, which is arepa. 
It's basically kind of like bread, but made with corn, kind of like a tortilla almost. And these are very cheap, about a dollar for 10 of vapas, so very, very affordable. 12 ounce Colombian steak for $2.90. And then we have a top cut steak for $4.40. And then at the Columbia meat counter, you'll find all kinds of fresh cuts of meat. And what you'll find is these are not pumped full of chemical and red dye like meats in the US are. Chicken drumsticks at $2.32 per pound. Upcut steak at $6.50 per pound. The second best cut of steak you can buy at $4.30 a pound. Imported steak at $3.15 a pound. And then we have 30 eggs for $2.85. These are brown pasture raised eggs. Here we have the wine section. Most of these are imported wines. Columbia does not or have that many vineyards. And so what you'll find is for a decent bottle of imported wine is going to be about $20. It varies greatly from, you know, 35,000 peso to 120,000 peso, which is about 10 to $50. Six pack of Corona at $6.50. One liter of milk at 70 cents. Like I said before, anything imported kind of uh, processed food is going to be very expensive. So we have cereal coming in at $4.30 for a box. Almond milk, also an imported product, comes in at $4 for one liter of almond milk. And your household items like deodorant uh, shampoo, also very expensive. For one thing of deodorant, it's $5, which is insane. In the US, you can get this for like $2. And so here we are at De Ono, and this is a great, great budget store, just like Aldi in the US. Here we have white wine coming in at $4 compared to $20 at Exito. Quality probably isn't as great, but it's still, you know, sufficient. Uh, imported red wine coming in at $6.30. One liter of Agua Diente at $12, and that's a very Colombian type of liquor. Eight ounces of a good quality Colombian coffee coming in at $2.85. Two pounds of apples coming in at two dollars. One pound of avocados coming in at 45 cents. And here you'll find much cheaper almond milk. One liter of almond milk for two dollars and sixty cents compared to four dollars at Exito. Two pounds of chicken breast with bone coming in at two dollars and thirty-two cents. And here we have your household items like toilet paper, cleaner, deodorant, uh, shampoo, things like that. All much, much cheaper than what you'll find in Exito and Kuduja. A lot of these items are 50% less than in those stores. So this is a great store to go to for items like this. So I just made it back from the farmer's market, which they have every Sunday in Parque de la Presidencia, which is in Poblado. <laughs> Real quick, I'll show you what I bought. Got some fruits and vegetables. So here we have some eggs, tomatoes, onions, broccoli, uh, carrot, papaya, banana, avocado. So I got a little bit of everything uh, this week. It's just me that I cook for, so I don't buy you know that much stuff. So for just the produce, like the fruits and vegetables, uh, that was 8,000 peso, which is about $2, a little bit more than $2 USD. The eggs were uh, 6,000 peso, which is just under uh, $2. Uh, so very, very affordable. And all the produce that you find uh, at the farmer's market uh, on Sundays is all organic. Even most of the produce in the stores uh, is mostly organic as well. So when you compare that to you know prices in the US versus like organic produce, this is much, much, much cheaper. Okay, so bring everything together. I know I said at the beginning of the video, I would take each item and break it down and compare it to uh, US prices, organic and non-organic. But I think that process would take way too long. I think we'd be here for about a half hour if I did that. So I'm just gonna take everything and combine it in like a monthly price. And you know, these prices are gonna vary, you know, greatly on the person, how much they eat, what kind of food they eat. But I'll just take your average like person, uh, one person, and do a monthly budget on that. So I did some research on the line and I pulled uh, the monthly expenses from the US, organic and non-organic. And here's what I came up with. I probably can't read my handwriting, so I will uh, include the screenshots of where I got these from. Uh, so Medellin, I got this from Numbio, and it says $132 a month, which is, in my opinion, on the very, very low side. You could probably spend that much uh, per month, but you'd really have to watch what you eat. Um, so I'll go off of kind of like my experience and what I, on average, spend a month. And that is about $257. And this is a diet of, you know, mostly non-processed food, you know, fruits, uh, vegetables, meats. 
uh, things like that. For US non-organic monthly food costs, I got this from USDA website. They have a single male in the 20 to 50 age range, uh, monthly budget of $315. And I found a report on Consumer Reports that shows on average, uh, organic fruits, vegetables, uh, meats are 47% more than non-organic. So I just added 47% on top of the $315 and I came up with a price of $463 per month. So you know when you compare my expenses to US non-organic uh, food prices, it's not that big of a difference, about 50 bucks a month. Uh, but to make the comparison fair, because almost everything here is organic, uh, you're gonna be saving over $200 per month um, if you're shopping organic in the US. And that comes out to be yearly about $2,400 in savings. So the cost of food here is not bad at all, especially if you're eating a healthier diet. Like I said before, if you're eating a processed diet, uh, packaged foods, imported foods, uh, you're gonna be spending more than you will be in the US. Uh, but if you like to eat healthy, you know, fruits, vegetables, you can even, you know, find cheaper at, you know, like farmer's markets, like I had uh, mentioned before in the video. Yeah, I hope you got some value from this, and uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.